morning guys so today is Sunday the 7th of December and today I am doing some work on my book and I thought it might be quite a good chance to show you like a little behind the scenes of me writing my book and a little sneak peek into into pig barking piglet Mike's just gone upstairs and piglet thinks it's really funny to do lots of barking it's not funny piglet no um, so yeah, I thought it might be good to give you guys a sneak peek into a little bit of the content that's going into the book as well, and my writing process, and the whole process of, like, writing a book, and how it all happened, and that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to open my advent calendar. Day 7. A law was passed that everyone had to return to the town of their birth to register for tax. So I'm upstairs in my bedroom right now, like, lying on my bed, kind of front down like this. And I have my laptop in front of me. So I come up here to work a lot of the time because I find it quite relaxing up here. Downstairs the dogs kind of tend to go a bit crazy if I'm sitting anywhere comfortable. I like to be comfortable when um, I'm writing. I don't know why, but downstairs just tends to get a bit crazy like the dogs are jumping on me or whatever. So I either come up here or I go out to a coffee shop. And today I'm here because I didn't want to leave the dogs on their own because Mike's gone to watch the football and we were out for a lot of yesterday. So... Anyway, long story short, I'm up in my bedroom and I uh, I thought I would show you like the um, outline of the book so far. So I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to turn the camera around. So this is a file that I keep on my desktop. As you can see here, it is called The Glam Guide. There's my Vlogmas Day 6, which I just uploaded. Um, and as you can see here, I keep individual files for all of the chapters. And this is a sneak peek because um, I haven't actually revealed like what the chapters are going to be so far. But obviously, I have a Word document for everything. Contents, introduction, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, 4, 5, 6 to 7, acknowledgements, and then quotes. And then the chapters are, this one is beauty. Um, they don't actually say on them because the editor changed the file name. So this one is beauty, this one is hair, fashion, travel, health and fitness, love, um, life dreams, and everything in between. This is kind of like a all round, kind of a bit more personal chapter, and then YouTube and blogging. I think the YouTube and blogging chapter is gonna go into chapter six, so I think we might end up with just six chapters in the end. But this is how I've laid everything out. The way writing a book works, and obviously I never knew this because I've never kind of been a writer before or thought about kind of how you would go about writing a book. Um, I had written, at the point where I signed my book deal, I had written probably four topics and within each of these six or seven chapters depending on <laughs> whether or not I combine the YouTube and blogging one um, within each of these there is between five and fifteen different topics so each topic is probably two pages to four pages long out of the book so um, when we went for the meeting with uh, Headline which is my publisher I had written four different topics, so that I think there's 65 in total, so it's quite a small snippet of the book, so that was just almost a preview to them, like, my writing style, and then I had also brainstormed, like, 150 different topics that I was thinking of writing, and obviously then we cut them down to, like, 65, I think it's either 65 or 60, I can't remember exactly, we keep changing them a little bit, um, so that was at the point when I signed my contract, and then when I started, kind of, um, fine-tuning things, we kind of, like, uh, picked out the topics I actually wanted to write, so sort of solidified like the contents page a bit further, so that the designer who's called Siobhan, who is like lovely, um, if Siobhan, if you watch this, hello, um, yeah, she just uh, we've been kind of giving her a bit of a more solid idea of like how many topics they're going to be and what they're going to be about, so that she can actually design it properly because that's kind of like a hard. Um, thing to do at the same time because the um, deadlines are pretty tight I have 10 days left before I need to have finished all of my um, like first drafts and everything and send them over to my editor um, Sarah so basically um, we solidified like all the contents to a certain level and then gave them to Siobhan so she can kind of have an idea of what she wants to do and then as I've been finishing um, each third of the book I've been sending them over to my editor Sarah and her assistant Holly who then read through and give me feedback on them so that feedback is usually they have you know when you get the little like comments in the I don't I'm like really not very good with word I um, haven't like used the what is it like the editing thing where they have the like comments on the side and it has like the little red arrow to be like we need more here so they basically come back with um, their comments on the draft and they're different for every chapter so I've had their comments for the first four chapters now um, I'm just working on um, the fashion and travel chapters to send back to them for the second draft um, so 
they send like a few comments. I add in a few more and then it goes to the copy editor who um, does all the grammatical things and, you know, taking out commas and adding in like capital letters where they're needed and things like that. Just things that you miss that I'm not a grammatical genius. So, um, yeah. And then it comes back to me again. I check through it again. And then it goes off to the proofreader who reads it for any last like spelling mistakes before it is finalized. So that's how it works. It was all learning system for me. So basically I have done, we've done and dusted chapter one and chapter two, which is hair and beauty. Um, I mean, makeup and hair. Yeah, hair and beauty, same thing. Makeup and hair. Anyway, that's in that order. And then I have written my first drafts of fashion and travel, which have just been sent back to me. And then I am about halfway through the health and fitness chapter. And then I have the last um, chapter to write. So I've got 10 days left and it's quite a lot of work. It's 10 days till I have to have given in the final chapter like first drafts and then we go back and forth and then I also need to write my acknowledgements which I've kind of been putting off the weird thing is I think about it when I'm like driving in the car I think about it in my head like what I'm going to say and I'm like yes that's exactly what I'm going to say but every time I open up the word document and go to like write it I'm like oh god I don't know what to say um and the introduction is also in a similar um state to the acknowledgements so I have like a paragraph but I want to make it like a couple of pages introduction and then I also actually have a document called quotes which I'm actually um I'm not sure if this is 100% happening or not but when Siobhan the designer actually first um put together some sample pages which were amazing and we, I, she's like instantly on the same page so it's absolutely incredible so when she first gave me the um design pages she had done some like random quotes that she had just found on the internet on the chapter title pages and I thought that would be something that would be really really fun to do um she had done like the same quote for all of the mock-ups um which was a random one that we probably won't end up using but I thought it would be really good to find like famous quotes for each topic and have them as the title headers it's almost like I like that it's kind of like a little bit inspirational so I've been collecting quotes along the way of um people like things that i find inspirational or I think would be fitting for the chapter titles and then on here as well I'm just going to turn it around like this I also have I don't know if you can see I also have reference pictures and drafts so um the back and forth with all the all of the different drafts ends up the first like the old version drafts go into the drafts folder just so that I have them just in case and then the reference pictures I have um say if I am trying to explain something to Siobhan about what I want um, an illustration to look like or a photo to look like I will save it in there and then send it over to her when I need to or I'll put it in the word document as well but um, I just keep a copy of them all in there um, yeah so that is like a behind the scenes of like how writing a book works or how it's working for me because everybody's different as well it depends on the type of book that you're writing to um, but my publishers have been super awesome because they've actually really let me um, do what I want to a certain extent they've given me great feedback like they've been really useful but they've also been quite trusting in the fact that I'm not a writer. I make videos on YouTube. I have a blog. Yes, I write a bit, but I'm not a professional writer. And they've kind of, um, they've had a lot of trust in me to just be like, yep, you go ahead, write your draft and we'll send it back. And, you know, what we think. And they've actually been super nice about everything and really positive. So it's been a really nice experience for me. Um I just wish I had a little bit more time for this last one. Um, the other two deadlines have been fine, but this last one, I think, because of Vlogmas and because everything else is, like, so busy around Christmas anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be a little manic. But that's the update. I'm going to go make some lunch now. Okay, this is currently the state of our fridge right now. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we have that would be good for lunch. I might try and, like, throw something together out of those veggies we have some gnocchi as well this is like a real like hodgepodge of stuff left over there's a lot of stuff left from um shooting with sainsbury's this week as well i might we do have some tortilla wraps i don't think we have anything to put in them cheese i could make quesadillas i also got given this little set yesterday which is an at home gel manicure set you have like the miniature like base coat like polish and the primer and the um, cleanser and then you have a little lamp as well I've never done at home gel before but I love gel nails and I feel like if I can get this done today it will mean I probably won't have to paint my nails again till before Christmas and after the book is done and most of vlogmas is done and all of that jazz so I might do this today and yeah if I get time I think that would be a good job done and I don't have to worry about my nails again for a while 
So here's my lunch. It actually looks pretty similar to the other day when I had gnocchi, um, but I put some broccoli in it this time to make it vaguely a little bit more healthy. And whilst it was cooking, I did my nails. I'm actually so impressed by this. It's the first time I've ever done um, at-home gel. Focus, you crazy camera. Um, yeah, it's the first time I've ever done at-home gel, and it feels really smooth, actually. I like it a lot. I will definitely be doing it again. Piglet has found her new favourite game. She's got... This twig thing. It's like a dried up twig with leaves on it. She is obsessed with it. What you doing, Pigwig? What you doing, Wiggles? <laughs> She's off. So I've just fed the dogs and I'm getting ready to take them for a walk. Well, I am ready to take them for a walk with Mike's hat and coat on. But I can't find the torch and it is dark outside. So I'm going to look in the garage and see if I can find it. Otherwise, it's going to be a seriously creepy walk. And it's really cold. Found it. Look at this weird torch. It's cool though. Where are we off to? There's the piglet. Let's go. Woohoo! Dark. A walk in the dark. So I didn't go as far as normal because um, it's really dark and creepy and it's also freezing. Even though I've got this massive coat on, I'm like shivering. It's so cold. Um, I should have taken it a bit earlier, but it got dark really quickly. I didn't really notice. I was just kind of like working and in the zone and then it was dark. So, um, yeah, you don't get too long a walk today, little one, but um, I'm sorry, maybe Mike will take them a bit further or we can both take them together because I get a bit scared. I didn't want to go down the lane, so I just went around the house like three times <laughs> and then around like the driveway where I could still see like the lights from the house. Um, I'm not sure where the other two are, oh, I can see them. Come on guys! Look who's home! Hello, How yeah. was the foosball? It's very good, they like one. Did they win? Yeah, did you have a nice time? A rather nice time. Did you, what like, else did you do? We had nice snacks, we, I... Cheered? Jumped cheered, around? Yeah. Did I, you scream and shout? I had a bet and I did you? won on my bet, so I gave it to charity. Oh, how much did you win? I won, <laughs> I had quite a few bets and I you put You didn't on, tell me about this. I put on 15 pounds. Yeah. And I got back 22. Oh, so, so not that great. To charity, so all £22. Oh, £22. Pounds. Well, that's very nice. I am currently cooking myself some pasta for my dinner. Whoa, smoking up the camera. Mike is not having any because he ate like two hours ago. Two hours ago. I'm going to have some snacks later. So I'm going to eat this and then I feel like I'm going to do a little bit of Christmas present wrapping because we always buy so many Christmas presents um, because we've both got quite big families and I just love buying presents for people basically. So I buy like all of our friends loads of presents. Um, because I've got a lot of things to wrap, I try and do it in like sections um, so that I don't end up wrapping for like a whole day straight and get bored of it because I love present wrapping. But if you do it for a whole day and get bored of it, the present wrapping gets of a shoddy quality. So I'm currently sitting in the spare room and I have quite a big uh, pile of prezzies and a lot of wrapping paper. Squidge is here. Piggity Pooga was here, but she's gone. And I am going to commence my Christmas wrapping. I'm going to get it done early. I've got the Vampire Diaries playing. It is all good stuff. That is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again tomorrow. It's Monday. Boo hoo, the weekend's over. Um, but another week, another week closer to Christmas. I guess that's a good way to look at it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Mwah.